The red carpet. Yeah, you see, and here I am. You got taken down the line. But Do I look a little better than I than I did earlier today? Cool. Oh, we look really All right. We're nice. We're ready to party. I dressed up for you. For sure, you did. You did. You did. For sure. Now listen, not to put too fine of a point on it. Ray Fiennes was here earlier. Now we have Daniel Radcliffe. You have heard that it was this all the way off at the London Film Festival. <laughs> Well, I also now have Allen Ginsberg and a very accomplished director. You do, absolutely. We were at the Hamptons Film Festival last weekend and his film, uh, I got a chance to meet him and see his film. I thought it was beautiful, yeah. Absolutely. Well, more importantly, your film. I mean, has it been the same wherever you've taken your film with the star of the movie, essentially, that you have screaming people, you know? And this, been... this crowd is pretty impressive, I have to say, and very yeah. passionate. Do you think that they've, um, do you think, do you, was it difficult for you to switch off from Dan and Star to Dan and Star? Not at all. Not at all, because Dan is such a humble and hardworking person. You have these things called actor dates when you first meet your actor, and they're kind of like first dates. And you know within the first five minutes whether or not there's any chemistry. Our first date lasted five hours. And, you know, besides the fact that he's so humble, the fact that he's so bright and witty, and we both kind of take our own personal misfortunes and instead of complaining about them, turn them into humorous anecdotes for the rest of the world to enjoy. It's like meeting somebody with the same operating system. So that friendship was built early on, and he's been a part of this project now for four and a half years. He's been beside me the whole time. So to be here now in London with him, premiering the film, is incredibly poignant. I think he's very passionate and committed, definitely. He's a wonderful spokesman. Um, since you started making the movie or getting the idea, has Hollywood moved on? Um, I mean, through something even like Brokeback Mountain, which might have broken new ground. Do you think Hollywood is, is more ready for a love story with gay elements because it has been notoriously back? I'll tell you who. I'll tell you who's ready. The actors. Times are changing. When we were first casting this film and making lists, the tough thing was not finding an actor who would play a gay character. It was finding an actor who hadn't just played a gay character. And you know what? Can I swear? That's a fucking cool thing. You can bleep that. That's a very cool thing. Because times are changing. Yeah, over the last 20 years I've seen, you know, so much happen since I was an adolescent. And we've had a very good year in the U.S. at the Supreme Court. You know, tolerance is just increasing and acceptance is just increasing. And hopefully that that pays off in terms of stories as well. So were you there for Dan's Attitude Magazine Award? I mean, he's just won the best body. I wasn't. I just got in. What, what did he win? Won best body. <laughs> I didn't know that. And what was what was his speech like? Uh, I wasn't there, unfortunately. But he was very thrilled, you know. Uh, but I mean, he's clearly okay. But there's a more important award coming up. <laughs> Dan and Dane are actively campaigning for MTV's Best Kiss. <laughs> so if there's any voters out there listening to this, please consider them. I think the I think the kiss is pretty stellar myself. Good. Yeah. Quite jealous. Boy, I really want something else. Wonderful. Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Such a pleasure to meet you.